Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Pokemon TCG that runs today. We're looking at Dragapult from Rebel Clash. Yes, I love Dragapult. It's actually one of my favourite Pokemon that came out of Sword and Shield. Um, just, I got such a love for ghost types and yeah, Dragapult is no exception. Love Dragapult. So, first off, he has 150 HP. Uh, it's on the low side. Normally you see around 160 minimum for stage 2s. So it's on the low side of stage 2s, I suppose. It's not great, but uh, we can try and make it work. Psychic type, which means you get things at your disposal like Malamar to recycle energy, Mysterious Treasure to search out psychic Pokemon, both basic and evolutions. Um, you get things like Spell Tag, you get the new Horror Energy that inflicts damage if it is attacked. Um, you get you get a bunch of things for psychic types. It, it's a good time to be a psychic type right now. Free Retreat, which is amazing because then you get access to other things such as uh, Big Charm to increase HP. Uh, Spell Tag, like I mentioned before, to get extra um, damage counters on if it is knocked out. It's great. Resistance to Fighting is a bit better than what it was before because now we have things to worry about like um like colossal decks now uh new sand the conda v that can hit surprising amount of damage out of nowhere uh the new four links that can hit damage out of nowhere so it's a good time to get uh to get fighting resistance it's, it's not bad weirdness to darkness is not great because you have the new malamar v max you have obstagoon still running around you have sableye still running around you get a few good dark types running around so be very careful with that it has one ability and one attack um if any damage is done to this pokemon by attacks flip a coin if heads prevent the damage so it's a 50 50 chance that dragpole is even going to get hit by an attack so if you are lucky and get heads then you survive another turn and get to live another day to do whatever it is that you want to do it's great but then again uh, for anyone that knows me on the channel or for anyone that doesn't know me should i say i hate coin flips i hate basing a whole play around coin flips but here we are it is a coin flip attack uh, well a coin flip ability should i say it's meh so for two psychic energy we have phantom force 120 damage but you put three damage counters on your opponent's bench pokemon in any way that you like so it has to be the bench it is a lovely sniping mechanic um it is a wonderful counter to things like mew who does who protects against uh attacks but not so much as um conditions so that is a great great thing so you could for example snipe like a mew for three for two turns to get a quick little chip off at a mew you could snipe off a little basic pokemon and if you have things like the new horror energy and spell tag you could inflict a lot more damage a whole lot faster it is really really good so normally we see this with dragapult v max like one or two copies of dragapult v max we're not going to try and do that today we're going to try and flip it around we're going to try and see what we can do with just dragapult today um, just to kind of save us some prizes and stuff like that, so we're gonna we're gonna see. So of course, Dragapult is not alone. First off, we have one copy of Double V. I love Double V. Double V is amazing. Um, it has one ability. It has an ability and one attack. It, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Um, so technically, it has 240 HP, which is great. Um, and for three colors energy, it does Revenge Blast. 120 damage base, but does 30 more extra for each prize card your opponent has taken. So at max, it would do 270 damage, which is hitting um, things like Restroom and Charizard for one hit. If you add things like Vitality Ban, it could take out ADP. At least I think ADP is 280. I think it's 270 actually. I have to check again. Huh. I think, unless it is 270. Maybe. But yeah, so it does take out pretty much almost every single tag team pokemon except for a couple um it takes out a lot of v pokemon but then again you have to be down there your opponent has to be down to one prize so it's a good mid slash late game option in case you want to hit back very very hard double is great i love double double is amazing we have one copy of the dene gx everyone knows what the dene does by now slap it on the bench discard your hand draw six lovely draw mechanic it's a very aggressive draw mechanic but being in mind you can only do it once so well once each turn so be very very careful we have malamar uh, of course for any psychic deck of course you'd have malamar why would you not it has an amazing ability you may attach a psychic energy card from your disc power to one of your bench pokemon it's great malamar is amazing being in mind though it is not special energy it has to be a basic psychic energy card so yeah be very very careful with that in terms of trainers we have one copy of evolution incense four mysterious treasures one copy of poker gear one pokemon communications one quick ball three rare candies two switches two Viridian forest two copies of boss's orders four cynthia two cynthia and caitlin's one marnie one milo three professor research four spell tag four horror energy and four and seven should i say psychic energy and with that being said Let's jump into it. I'm pretty excited. Let's go drag a pot. Okay, so we are facing a water and colorless deck. Might be Lapras. Um, gosh, who else would it be? Might be Inteleon. 
<sighs> could be a, could be one or two very tricky things, but we'll go first because we need that evolution line running. Um, but how are you guys doing today? Actually, I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Uh, just been doing, you know, opening a bunch of Rebel Clash stuff and things like that. We do have um, an opening coming out. I think it's come out by the time this video is out. Um, let's put on some horror energy. Let's start with that and start that on. Uh, man time, so that's all right. Get a little bit of a, a bit of an extra, uh, well, an extra. Ah, oh, it's Blast Oxy Pip Club. Ah, oh, great. Uh, it's going to be annoying, but you know what? It's fine. That means we need to snipe them as quickly as possible. Cramorant is fine. Um, as long as he don't, as long as they don't get Snom, we're okay. Uh, they use Hop as their ability, as their supporter. I mean, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I've uh, been doing a bunch of Rebel Clash stuff. It's been pretty fun, actually. It's been really, really fun. Um, can't really complain. I'm still on the hunt for a few cards. Um, I'm coming to that point now where it's like, do I just buy them separately or do I just go for more packs? Because there are a lot of cards in Rebel Clash that I actually want. Um, I know I'm after a couple of, um, actually let's use Mysterious Treasure, get rid of Psychic Energy. Get that in K, and we have one Malamar, which means one is in the prizes. Um, so yeah, so I'm after, what am I after? I'm after a few Dragapult Vs, because um, a, a while ago actually, we did get a, um, we did get a nice little, uh, well we got two actually, Dragapult V Maxes, which is great. Uh, we did get, um, let's do Summon, let's get Droopies. Let's get some droopies. Right, we did get um, Cooper Raja V Maxes that we did in the opening the other day. I'll have to, uh, uh, of course, it'd be up before this, um, which means I need some Cooper Raja Vs. Um, I think I said before in the opening that I have one copy of uh, ADP and one copy of Zacian. Uh, I would kind of like to make some more, but obviously since they are the highest running deck right now, it would it wouldn't be ideal because they're going to be crazy expensive, but um, uh, just the way it is, I guess. The, I managed to get, a, well, the Zassian that I got is a full art, so I'm actually really happy about that. I packed it as well. Um, when I was, I think it was like a few weeks before I went into my first tournament, I actually managed to pick it out of one of three packs, which was incredibly rare. Like, it's rare enough getting it just from, like, a booster pack or anything like that. Like a, not a booster pack, a booster box. But then getting it out from a, um, from a from like one of three just normal booster packs is crazy that was in insane right so oh, up to Malamar Dragapult um, I'm gonna pop a Cynthia and then see what we get Reading Forest is good I can deal with Reading Forest actually Reading Forest get rid of I want to say Quick Ball I know we could have got the Dene but might want to keep that Viridian Forest. Actually, they might keep that Viridian Forest, to be honest, but you know what? It's fine. It's completely fine. Malamar, slap it back on. I can use Evo Incense to then get... E <sighs> Gosh, another Dragapult? Yes. That'd be ideal. I suppose... Eh, doesn't matter. Because I think I've evolved to, to Dragapult this turn. No, I didn't. I didn't. I evolved them both last turn? Huh, I guess I did. Right. 120, and then we're gonna snipe this blast of some pit block because I don't think that Mantine is any use to him now. Uh, and we can one-shot that Mantine anyway. I could probably snipe the Mantine, like use boss orders to snipe the Mantine now, or get the Snom. The Snom would be easier, to be honest. Because I think, yeah, Snom's gonna be the problem because I need to get rid of that Frost Moth. So boss's orders to get the Snom, um, and then I guess, well, we can one hit the Kremlin after this turn anyway. Mantine, I've got not a big issue about. Um, I'm pretty sure he's got the Frostmoth in there if that's what he's doing. I could use Marnie. I could be cheeky and use Marnie. But then, do I really want to? Do, uh, do I want to play it safe? I probably should, to be honest. Um, yeah, I should play it safe. Boss's orders, get the Snom. Don't even try and be cheeky with it. Just, just get the Snom. Right, um, put that on. Uh, I'm going to do Rooney Forest, get rid of the other Rooney Forest to get a, another Psychic Energy. And then I'm going to snipe Blasters and Pip up again. Right, let's go. Just stack it. We can just stack it. Because they, they've got the most prizes and the most HP, so that's the one I'm kind of worried about the most. I can use Marnie um, to then reshuffle him around, which would be very nice actually. Just trying to stop him from using the snot. Once he gets Frostmoth, then I'm, I'm running on the clock. That's the problem. That's like the really big issue. 
All right, Cedar's beat catch. I can counter it with Marnie. That's fine. And then, hmm, yeah, that can work, I suppose. Because um, I did, I made this deck at the beginning and I put in um, Garatina Garchomp because I was thinking, oh, you could just like spread out the damage counters on the attack and then use Garatina Garchomp to get an easy 240 that way. Which on paper seems pretty good, but then when I started to play it, it was like obviously you need like the fighting energy or the Aurora energy to then do like whatever you need with it, which is a bit more difficult when you actually use it to play. So I decided I scrapped Garatina Garchomp entirely. There are, I suppose you could do, say, oh, I don't know, um, like what else would you do? Weezing, I guess, would be a good shout. Right, get rid of Psychic Energy. Do I have another one? I do not. That is all my Psychic Energy. Oh, right. Well, doesn't matter anyway. Let's let's go next game. Let's go. Okay, so Psychic, Grass, Colorless, and Steel. Okay, might be. Might be Rillaboom, it might be um might be Rillaboom, it might be Elon Executor. Okay, cool. Double GP and the Dene. Um I'm gonna say use the Dene first. Yeah, we lose bosses all oh Zassian, okay. I'm guessing Zassian is just for the draw support though. I wanna go off on a limb and say Zassian is the draw support. Aurora energy, okay. That's Rosa, it's fine. Considering that he's got grass sleeves, I don't think it's a grass. I don't think it's a Zassian deck. Um, oh, Draclock, man, why you got come now? It's fine. Dreepy, Cynthia, because I want to keep the Draclock. That's why. I know we got rare candies, but you never know. With with luck like this, you you'd be surprised. Right. So he isn't going to hit us with this attack. He can't use Metal Saucer. He can't do anything like that. So we're safe for a turn. That's fine. Um, I'm going to say Cynthia and Caitlyn to get back my Cynthia. I'm gonna get rid of the psychic energy to do it. Or maybe not. Maybe the switch if it comes heads. No. Psychic energy then. Okay, I just gotta think about what he's doing. Because I don't know who the main who the main Pokemon is. I don't know who the main attacker is. But yeah, as I was saying with this deck before, um yeah, I, there, there are ways. You, there are a lot of ways you could do this deck. Really, you could do um, Dragonpot Weezing because once Weezing from Unbroken Bonds, Weezing from Unbroken Bonds. Because then, oh, actually no, from Cosmic Eclipse as well. You could do the Roxy approach and get rid of a bunch of Weezings um, and spread the damage over, and then Dragonpot could add in more. Um, oh my God, it's ADP. Are you serious? It's ADP. Oh, then who's the Grass type then? Really, man, this is annoying. Never mind. Okay, well. It's an ADP variant, but I don't know who the other one's going to be. Right, Cynthia and Caitlyn, I'm going to say get rid of... Actually, no, get rid of the switch, because we might need that switch. We might need the energy. Draw, draw, draw. Um, wow, really? Oh, boy. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Wow, all three, dra all three Dragon Pulse. If I use the Dene, that would be the stupidest choice ever. Right, Inke, get down. Um... Right, so I'm safe for another. I'm safe for another turn, which is completely fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You could use wheezing from um, from what's it called? From Cosmic Eclipse as well. Use Roxy. Spread more damage with Dragapult. I know more people like to use. Um, oh, thank God it's Marnie. Thank God. Just give me something decent, like uh, Professor Research or something. But you could do uh, what would what would be a better idea? Um, oh, cool! You got incense, and then yeah, that could work. I just need the energy now. Um, but yeah, what? Uh, I'm just trying to think. What would be the best kind of best kind of plan? Uh, right, you got incense first. Get me dragapult. Um, yes, get me dragapult. Uh, rare candy onto Dragapult. Boss's orders for ADP because there's no energy. If you get switched, then I'll have to rely on the coin flip, which is fine, but uh, it's not ideal. Okay, and then, uh, uh, but yeah, so you could do the one broken bonds wheezing where if you sniped afterwards, you could then do something crazy. And then, oh my god, you do have a switch. Tazassian? No, fair amount of buzzball. Okay. Um, or he's gonna snipe the bench anyway. I need draw support, and I think that um, maybe Guzman Hollow could get 
me a Viridian Forest. Hopefully. Maybe they could get me a nice little Viridian Forest. Viridian, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take Viridian Forest. I will take Viridian Forest. Here's Viridian Forest. He's got Aurora Energy, which means next time he's probably going to either attach to ADP or Zacian. If I can get Zacian, that would be amazing. Of course I get hit with an attack. That's great. Um, what other cards could you do? What other... What other... Hmm. I'm just trying to think. What other cards could you use? Right, so I'm going to snipe... Oh, do I snipe the Zacian or... I might have to, you know. I might have to snipe the Zacian. Might have to snipe that Zacian. Right, then one, two, three. But yeah, it's, uh, just trying to think. What could you... What would be an easy approach to use? Giratina Garchomp, but that's a bit clunky. Unless you've got a way for it to work. But then the Aurora Energy or Rainbow Energy is a bit difficult. Um, please be heads. Really? This is why I hate coin flips. This is why I hate coin flips. 50-50 chance. And I, most times it just doesn't come into place. Right, well, there's my Inke. Um, boss's orders. There's no. If you have another switch, I'm going to be so surprised. Just keep packing on this Zacian. Keep packing on the Zacian. Um, Delmize won't do 120 unless it is a grass type so that gets knocked out, which is fine. Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Forgot you had Malum and Lana. Bring on Zacian. Please be heads. If there was a, if there was any time for you to pull off a heads, it would be now. If there was any time for you to pull off heads, it would be now. Yes. And then he can't do it next turn also, which is great. That's fantastic. Um, right, Dreepy, yeah, get the Dragapult because I'm not getting sniped. I'm not getting sniped again. Right, Phantom Force. Um, snipe at the Pheromus Boswell or the Polka Dolls? Polka Dolls, because he's going to retreat to them next, isn't he? And once he retreats and pops off either Pheromus Boswell or Lily's Polka Doll, I can get a nice little cheeky KO on Zacian, which would be very, very nice. Or maybe not. Well, that works better for me, I guess. Right, the only good thing about it is, that, oh, thank God it's just heads. Right, what now? What is it now? Please be something decent. What is it now? Tails. Okay. Well, at least it's 30. Gosh, at least it's 30. Right. Might as well stack up for the next one. Might as well stack up for the next Dragapult. Or, yeah, you know what? Stack up for the next Dragapult. It's fine. Because that's the only one that's going to hit faster. Then pick at the Zacian. Fantastic. You could do Giratina. Giratina would be nice. Um, Gintero, Giratina would be a, a good pick, actually. Cynthia, yes! Redraw, finally. Um, yeah, Giratina. Giratina, I mean, um, yeah, Giratina from Lost Under would be a good one, because then you could keep coming back from the bench. That would be pretty cool to use, actually. Uh, let me guess, he's going to charge up Delmise. Yep. Um, hmm. Right, that's, that's one. Okay, love that. Okay, love that. Um, Dene, oh wow, now I get Dene. Right, no, never mind. Cynthia, shuffle back around. Give me some draw, please. Let me... Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fan... Dabby Dozy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. Um, Phantom Force. Hit the Delmise because it is lower HP. Right. That's my three. One. Horror Energy. Love it. Uh, switch. Love it some more. And what else? Inke. That's nice. But... It's... Do I have both? No, I still have Malamar in the deck, don't I? Malamar's still in the deck because I didn't use it yet. Uh, okay, right, sweet. Well, um, if I get hit, I could just do a nice little... That's fine. Then just pick at you. Love the picks, love the picks. 150, that's fine. Right, and then Inke down on there. Um... Yes, communications. Get rid of Dragapult. Do I have another Dreepy? 
I do. I have Dreepy, Draclock, and Dragonport, and a Rare Candy. That is great. Um, next turn, then do Professor's Research, get rid of all that. Which is great, which is fantastic. Phantom Force. Um, since I can't really do much, and I know you're going to retreat. Get rid of Pokedor. That means next turn, if he does retreat, all i got to do is just hit and then put the three damage counters on afterwards. That's fine. Won't save you from what I'm going to do. That's perfectly fine. Uh, Mystery Treasure. That's fine. Um, Giga Hammer. Protected. And that's game. That is game. Fantastic. Right. Um... I'm gonna say one more. I'm gonna say one more because I'm enjoying this right now. I'm, en I'm enjoying Dragapult. Right, so fire, colorless, and darkness. I've got to be careful. I think it's a darkness deck. Just, I think the darkness type is, part of it is Incineroar. That explains the fire type for, for Litten and, oh gosh, that's, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a pain. Right, get the mulligan, that's not good. Who should I start off? Who would be the best idea to start off? Uh, uh, Dreepy, I guess, but it's not ideal, is it? It's not really ideal. Um, I'm just trying to think, what other sniping Pokemon could you use? That'd be very simple. Not not that much, to be honest. You wouldn't have a lot. Wouldn't be that much. Hmm. Yep, I thought so. It's a darkness deck. So darkness deck with Silva with Silvalu. Hmm. So it's gonna be a bit complicated considering that it's a dark deck. Okay. Right, so brilliant. Horror energy. Even more nice. Cynthia, get me some nice draw, please. Do not slap me with that Cynthia curse. Um Okay. Right, mysterious treasure first. Get rid of I wanna say Evo Incense. Just in case we do get knocked out, because I want to be able to, to, you know, keep going. All right, Dreepy, keep reading for us for next turn, because I don't want him get using that as an advantage. Heads, 20 damage, brilliant. That means if he somehow manages to hit us with Litten, somehow, I don't get how, but okay. Uh, well, the, what is that, 60 damage? That is 60 damage, isn't it? 60 damage. Okay, well... I get the hit afterwards, so that's fine. If I get red candy, then that would be amazing. Um. Oh, okay. I guess one, two, three, four. I don't understand what I. I guess you want a cheeky KO, but it really didn't seem worth it. Just for Drac Lock. I'll take Drac Lock. I will take a Drac Lock. Yeah. I'll take Dragon. Um, get rid of a Dragapult, and then oh, Professor's Research. Thank God. I know I'm getting rid of two of them, but I think I would rather do that than be down hard done by. Um, right, Inke. Then Psychic Energy. Um, use Rain Forest to then get rid of Psychic Energy from the deck. Um, I want to leave the... Wait, no. Do I? Because then if he gets Silvalli, that's 120. Actually, no. Yeah, that can work. That can work fine. Um, get one more Dreepy. Because then I have to do... Mysterious... Tra no. Oh, God, no. That's a bit complicated, isn't it? Because then I have to make a sacrifice between who I need to get. Okay. Welder again? Okay, so he hasn't attached, he's not, okay, that's Welder, uh, okay, 120, and one more energy he needs, yep, there he goes, there he goes, fantastic, of course, of course you'd use it, why is it when it's such a weird, clunky, stupid deck that it works, why is that, why is that, it's such a weird, stupid deck, it's Silvalli, man, it's, it's Silvalli, like, why does that need, with darkness energy, Incineroar literally doesn't even need darkness energy, technically. It's just, it's weird. It's it's weird. Right, I can tank one hit. I can tank one hit from it. Thank you, Cynthia. Right, um... I'm not even going to try and 
wait for for Drag for Dragapult. Dragapult, come in, rare candy. Um, yeah, rare candy, throw it up. Um, then I want to say quick ball for. Get rid of psychic energy. I want to say quick ball for double because I want to be able to hit that hard. Fine, so 270, take off the 60. So yeah, so I should be able to do 210 on the dot, which means I could take out all of his Pokemon at this rate. Um, Mysterious Treasure, get rid of Rare Candy? I want to say Rare Candy. No, wait, hang on. So if that's one, two, and I've got three here, that means there's one more left. Still, I'm going to say Rare Candy. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to say Rare Candy. Right, which means the other one's in the prizes. Fine, I can at least as long as I can tank a hit, I'm okay. As long as he doesn't bring up that stupid, in, as long as he doesn't bring up a, a darkness type Incineroar, I should be okay. But even then, if he does, I'll be alright. Um, should I say switch? Because that way I can at least I can definitely tank a hit that way. Nah, just keep the prizes. Keep the prizes. Just just keep the prizes. Then if he gets knocked out, Malamar to put our energy back on double. Pop a switch, then do Marnie, and then use Viridian Forest if I really don't have the energy. That works. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, then, yeah, so wait, so Silvalli gives him free retreat on basic Pokemon. But Lugia doesn't really... But Lugia is the only basic Pokemon there. Incineroar is obviously a stage 2, so he doesn't get free retreat. Makes no sense. Just, just makes completely zero sense to me. Right. I think the shot that I'm going for here is stopping him from getting that Incineroar. That's what I want to. That's what I want to stop. Um, he's got four cards, so that's fine. Um, I'm gonna keep him at four. I'm just gonna do Professor's research for myself. Uh, da -da 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 -da, the spell tag, um, but that won't work. So I need Cynthia gone because I need to hope and pray that I get Psychic like, Energy, which I do. Uh, then slapped it on, spell tag, I want to say spell tag on Malamar as well. And then next turn I can definitely hit him back crazy. With 240 HP I should be able to tank a, pretty much most hits. Which is nice, should be able to, yeah, should be able to tank most of the hits. Well, uh, two hits, but then it depends who exactly I'm coming up against. Heads? Yes! Right, cool, save for a turn. Get. Two cheeky knockouts. He's gonna do Lugia. Um, okay, right. I see, I see. Um, right, Cynthia and Caitlin. I'm gonna get back Marnie. I just wanna see what exactly I can get. Should have really discarded the Dene, but it's fine. Live and learn. Live and learn. Draw. Well, at least I got the switch, um, which is fine, but I don't really need it. Alright, pop that. So it's a Silvalli variant deck. Two, three. Right, that's three prizes. Fantastic. Two hit KO on Lugia, and then we'll be done. Wait, we haven't come across... I was just about to say, we haven't hit boss's orders. We have not hit boss's orders all this time. So wait a minute. That means if I... If he does get rid of Dragapult, that's just giving me the enough damage to hit back with double. Right? Yeah. Because then if that's three... If that's three prizes, three... Turns of three is 90, 210. Yeah, so you've given me just en enough to hit back. So that's great, right? Just to be sure, because I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's game. All I've got to do is just slap on an energy, then that's it. Right, then double, and then Viridian Forest. I mean, not even Viridian Forest. Revenge Blast. That's it, that's game. Right, nice. Um, right, announcement time, I guess. There's all the GP, there's Professor Research, we're done. Sweet, announcement time, let's go. Right, Dragapult. I really, really like it. I love Dragapult, and yeah, I love Dragapult in the games. I love Dragapult as a card. It's no exception. I love Dragapult. Dragapult is amazing. You don't think that cards that do such things as like put like little damage counters on do that much, but when it racks up, it actually does a lot. Like a 60 HP Pokemon, that's two turns. If you can't get them evolved in two turns, that's it. Like that is that's it. Small decks such as like um, like Raichu Nuzzle decks would hate coming across this deck because it's you basically have three pickings on doing whatever that plus the horror energy plus a spell tag you pretty much could get about two knockouts each turn if you play your cards right 
yeah that's great that is really really good um double again love double uh the only reason why i put double in this deck is because if we do face things like adp if they come down to one prize somehow i don't know how they managed to do that but if they somehow do probably if they knock out the dene or then if they knock out drag pot first then use odds creation and then get out another two drag pots that makes five double can then come in as a last ditch effort and then yeah takes them out that way you could take out adp in one shot if they have one prize card left because it does 270 um you can knock out zassian in one shot even if if they have like two prizes remaining if you do decide to add in vitality belt that could be three prizes remaining um which is great i love that dedene is always a class act love the day um i don't think there's really much i can argue with this deck i think maybe another backup attacker would probably be my only criticism about it but i think other than that there's not really much else there's not really much else to say i kind of like how it's all how it's all made up it's got four of the main attackers it's got a backup attacker and then two techs i i like it there's not i can't really have much else to say really um i could mess around see who could be a good other backup attacker but then you gotta think of like who's a good basic pokemon that could either snipe or do good damage but then it's like wouldn't have a lot of energy to then make it clunky um then who would be a good pokemon that also would have a decent amount of hp who would be good at getting out of the active or who would be able to tank a hit if you can't get them out of the active it's just i just like dragon ball i just really like dragon ball i hate the coin flip because i just hate coin flips but other than that it's just i really like it but i think that's it for me anyways guys if you have any idea on what you take out let me know if you have any idea on what you take in let me know if you guys have any idea on what should um make but let me know in the comments we might have to try it out if you enjoyed, always click like and always click on the video, guys. Also, back, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Right, guys, take care, and I'll see you all later. Okay, bye.